sharing versus giving orgasms, which came up um, after day two. The workshop ended on Sunday. We all sat around with the women. We all had drinks. And many of them mentioned how nice it was to be in a room and share orgasms with someone and a group of people, but not have someone give you your the, orgasm. The, the, the dyad is deadly. Or that you have to give them their orgasm. Yeah. Because you know, then you're, everybody's operating with some level degree of anxiety. Performance anxiety. Of course. And they think it's only men, men that have performance anxiety. Oh. No, women have it too. Oh, we, we're, I, I think we're worse than men. They, well, a woman just has to lie there, you know. But you're on the clock. Like whenever it's just you and another person and then they're watching your body and they're stimulating you and they're going, come, come on, have an orgasm, have an orgasm. It's too much. Come, pressure. come, come. I want you to come, come for me, honey. <laughs> come, <laughs> come. Ah! Then you lose it. You know what I mean? I used to get this feeling sometimes when we'd have, and we used to talk about this, in group sex, you know, towards the end of the evening, things were kind of calming down and it was yeah, getting yeah. sort of, you know, drowsy and lazy and a couple would be snoozing over in the corner <laughs> and, uh, and uh, little pockets of people talking softly together and you could pull out your vibrator and, and have an orgasm yeah. while you heard conversation going on. And what I thought of was that that must have been what it was like when we had a fire in the cave. In the cave and some people were having sex and you could hear it and then you'd be talking and then it, yeah, it's more of a communal experience. It's comforting. It is comforting. Instead of all by yourself, masturbating, or with one other person, having to perform. One Within thing. a certain time frame. Yeah. And that's the workshop that we do. It's like that fabulous sharing your orgasms on your, mm -hmm. on your own terms. Ooh. Huh? Because, you know, several women, we, we took a break at one point. We all got water, and I brought in some cookies, and we were all eating. And then we started talking, mm -hmm. and other women were still going, and they were still masturbating. They just kept going. And um, some woman remarked about how nice it was to have laughing in the room. Laughter. But it wasn't so serious, you know. With partner sex, particularly heterosexual, the man has to prove he's manly. And the woman has to play over that she's passive and womanly. <laughs> and womanly, yes. Oh, and it's like, ugh, ugh. Those sex roles are so boring. They're so limiting. They're deadly, actually. So the idea of having two people get together, that's why when you first have a relationship with somebody, the concept of sharing masturbation at the beginning. To see how they stimulate themselves. It clears, what they like. it clears the deck. It's, you, you're stating... And this was my big problem when I first did it with Grant. It's like, yes, I am fully capable, all by myself, on my own, of giving me a wonderful orgasm. Now, then I thought, will he still love me? Will he think that he's unnecessary? And that I... Yeah, I can see that. I can see going there. But that's the whole point, maybe. Isn't it better when we want something, we want someone, than we need them? Never need. Need is terrible. You know, we, I think that's why the way we've created sex, it's always the power dynamics, the dominant, the submissive. We've yeah. created this rape culture. We've created all of this that kind of robs us of what sex should be, which is fun. I don't want to be needed. I want to be desired. And even if I'm desired, that won't heal the fact if I don't think I'm desirable. Yes. It's yes, yes, yes. <laughs> of course. I love you. I desire you. I know I'm worthless. I know I'm... But if you can give yourself an orgasm and you're confident enough to do that in front of a partner, if that's not saying I'm good enough, I'm worth it, I'm confident. It's also the beginning of mm -hmm. sharing. And why is sharing different than giving? Sharing is that you state, I am capable in my own right, on my own terms, of pleasuring myself. I don't need you for my orgasm. I will share it with you. Yeah. And that's... And that's mostly how we view love and partner sex is that, oh, I can't wait to see him. Oh, he, you know, and, and that's because you can't have your orgasm until you're with your beloved. Or when they say like those, that um, movie line, you know, she completes me, you complete me. Yeah. I think yeah. you have to complete yourself. And then if you're, you're ready. Yes. Once you are whole and completed within yourself, you then have something to share. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gimme, gimme, make me, make me fulfill me, you know, play, be that other half that I don't have. Sharing is fabulous. All kinds of sharing. Joy, orgasms, love, hat, friendship, love, friendship, conversation, laughter, all of it, all of it, sharing. Now, 
Come on, I want you to give me an orgasm. I'll share an <laughs> orgasm with you. I'm not giving you one, Mrs. Dotson. <laughs> oh, have a nice weekend, kids. <laughs>